developers make lousy user interfaces how true is that we're gonna discuss this in this episode What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry Podcast, and welcome to today's podcast, everybody. Today, we're going to discuss. Hopefully, you can hear me clearly. Today, we're going to discuss developer authoring user interface or composing user interfaces, and how this cliche that developers really make. Uh, bad user interface yeah so nine years ago almost i think it, 10 years even 10 years ago uh i started my blog and literally the first or maybe the second post was uh was was two pictures right Two pictures taken from a VB6 uh, form. So the first, the, from an application that I created. Uh, the first picture, that, so the application, what it does is it cleans the desktop, uh, your your Windows desktop. So, so that's the purpose of this application. So I, I created two forms basically, in the, which is a user interface in VB6, I created two forms representing uh, engineers or user interface engineers versus developers making interfaces, right? So the first form was the actually the user interface engineer, right? Which, okay, I'm going to build an application that clears the desktop. So there is this form with one button, right? Clear desktop. That's it, right? And the other picture I put there was the developer version of that, and it had it had first a menu where you can reach that. Uh, this has a file menu where you can uh, see history of how many times did you clear the desktop. You can clear the desktop from the menu. There is a button. There is a progress bar of cleaning the. Uh, show you the actual process of cleaning up the desktop. There is the list of all files that got cleaned, right? So as it cleaned every single file, uh, there is like a list box that shows you all these files that are getting cleaned. And you can access history, and I don't remember the rest, right? There's a progress bar. It was, a, it was packed with controls right so why is that why as a developer and and, and i fall into that because I, I am a developer right uh and i have been a developer for a long time and you guys must feel this right so the reason i believe personally that developers write clunky user interface interfaces is that if, 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 if a user was presented with the developer version of cleaning the desktop, he would get confused, right? Because what is all that? I mean, we, Windows in general trained users to be kind of used to this uh, clicky interfaces. I mean, versus Mac, where things are really simple, right? I mean, yeah, so hey, I'm going to talk about this in a while, but but yeah, so if you're presented with these two versions, and you, you'll you definitely know that, oh, the developer definitely did that, right? It's actually funny because the the version, the Windows, uh, the, the version, the developer version has all these functionality, right? Clear history. That tells me that what the developer did is that he wrote all these APIs that are hidden 
and he feels she or she feels that she has to show all these functions that she wrote somehow in an interface so she's gonna add these controls that correspond one to one to her api right so that makes basically the application less and less usable so that's where you actually need a user engineer to tune down all this functionalities right and use it only when you really need it right so this is what i wanted to discuss today so it's a very short episode i guess and i'm gonna see you in the next one what do you think if you are a developer do you do you develop uh uh really crowded user interfaces and you add a lot of stuff or are you a simple kind of interface guy let us know great there is a train here in morona valley so that gave me another five minutes to talk about user interfaces and developers <laughs> so yeah so uh, let's talk about windows and mac in this version of things right so Windows came first, right? Came up with these interfaces and you know, you know how you're used to uh, working with the right clicks in Windows to do things and this didn't come natural if you think about it, right? And the reason we the Windows start to add these context menus on right click to do more work is uh, is because all these functionality need to be exposed and how can we expose them in, into minimum interface right we don't have this much interface in the, uh, the actual blend uh, user ui so we added the right click but if you're working with mac right clicks are really when i first moved, moved to mac working with mac you don't do right clicks as much right it's always intuitive drag and drop they encourage you to do drag and drop and drag and drop folders you rarely do right to click copy i still do it right to click copy and right to click paste but they encourage you to drag and drop i'm not saying that windows doesn't have drag and drops but we we used to work with this way of doing things uh where we always right to click and do something and then do a uh, right to click and paste or properties goes to information yeah so again don't don't uh, don't take me wrong here that uh, i'm saying that developers make bad user interfaces some some developers make great user interfaces especially if you're if you're exposing if i'm a developer i would understand these interfaces if developers making interfaces for other developers that is perfect right especially github like have you worked with the github command line <laughs> so how is this i mean it's uh it's not user intuitive at all right writing with a command line but i like working with the command line it's just i guess if you're designing an application, you have to think of the mass user uh, crowd, really, right? And then tailor your application to that. That's why you need a user engineer, a uh, user experience engineer that knows what to show and what to hide and make it as less clunky as possible, right? Imagine we do right clicks in our mobile phone. That will, that will drive me insane. I, I swear <laughs> but yeah uh, what do you think guys uh, what do you think of this just uh, let me know what do you want to discuss in the next episode train is almost done so see you in the next one stay tuned bye